This video will look at explaining what a performer may consider when setting goals before their training programme. Now again, like the previous question, explain is asking to actually justify why you might use something. So for example, we will use the acronym SMART. Specific, measurable, agreed, realistic and time bound. You've got to justify why your goal should be one of these letters and that's where you pick up your marks. So the first thing we'd look at is the S, specific. Now we do not give a mark for saying specific means that we have a goal that relates to our weakness. Now you must include that because you need to define what specific means but you don't get the mark for it. However, you then get your mark by building up with your linking phrases and giving the positive impact. As a result of having a specific goal that is all relevant to my weaknesses, I could then select the relevant and correct approaches that will allow me to improve my weaknesses. And that's where you'd get your mark. So specific, the definition, the goal will relate to your weakness, the mark comes within the positive impact. This therefore means I can select relevant approaches that will allow me to improve. After that we move on to the aim and look at measurable. Again, give the definition even though you don't achieve the mark, introduce it. A measurable goal will allow me to know if I'm improving or not. Again, no marks given for that but with the next expansion you will get your mark. This means that if I am not improving, I can then review the training programme and adapt it to suit my actual ability levels. And you will get the mark for saying that. So again, give your definition, but then expand on it to actually achieve your mark with the impact having a measurable goal has on you. And that is reviewing your training programme that's not working, if you're not meeting your goals, you're not improving, review your training programme and adapt it to suit your actual levels. After that, you move on to the A, agreed. Again, define it. An agreed goal is one that is actually agreed by an experienced person like a teacher or a coach. Again, no marks given there, but then we expand on it to get the mark. This means that, my Lincoln phrase, this means that my goal will therefore be supported by an experienced person and correct, which can lead to me therefore improving. And that's where you get your mark. Finally, we'll focus on the R, realistic, again define it without achieving the mark. The goal should be realistic to me so that I can actually achieve it. So it should be realistic to your actual levels. By having a realistic goal, this can mean that my motivation and resilience le levels will stay high and therefore I'll give 100% in good times and bad times to always improve. If you want to just leave it there, you'll probably by now have achieved your four marks. But if you want to really impress an examiner, you really want to get them on your side, you can build on that realistic one by kind of flipping it. Tell us what will happen if it wasn't realistic. However, if my goal was not realistic, this can lead to me losing heart, giving up and therefore never improving. And that is a potential fifth mark there. So again, the questions are before. You've got your basic four marks, but if you want to leave the examiner, no doubt, go that extra mile and just give that one other impact. And that's how we answer and explain what a performer may consider when setting goals.